I was training one of my kids and I just played one on one just for fun. This is not me trying to play just regular. And I was like, wow, why am I? It's, it's so easy to get so it out. Right? Yeah. And then the way I was moving, yo. It's changed, right? It changed. That was just one time. It so was one time. I was yeah. very surprised. I was like, that's not a coincidence. No. So no. I was like, man, that's. I was surprised, man. Yeah. I you was uh, surprised.
gonna do the assessment again because uh -huh. you did some work. Yeah. So we're gonna see how much how much difference there is. Okay. So every time, so so the training goes, but because everything is data driven. Yeah. What we're trying to do is every time, or or over a, a period of time, we get reevaluate re -evaluate again with the same number of parameters yeah. and see how much you improve. So okay. those those parameters will improve. For mm -hmm. example, like when you stand, mm -hmm. like how wobbly you are, that should change. Yeah. Because you're going to be more and more stable with okay. the heel off the ground, and uh, also the uh, uh, the 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 glutes contraction. Yeah. That how much you can control and contract your glutes. Yeah. That increases the wall. Yes. And then you know the uh, we can also do the baseline evaluation, like in terms of. You know, sliding, going, mm -hmm. you know, sliding, just like what the NBA does to yeah. evaluate the, the athlete, the yeah. sliding, and then the, the sprint, and all that. We can evaluate the time, how much, like, what your numbers are now, yeah. versus like, like after three months, six months, and a year. There Perfect. will be changes. Perfect, man. I also, I don't know. Like I also like uh, usually I go to the gym and do my workouts, right? Yeah. So I just did my regular squat, uh, just the regular way I do it. But I noticed when I was sore, I was sore in different areas. Yes. Is that common? That that's that's how it is because if you are using the mechanism, yeah. Then you when you do the squat, it's yeah. not gonna target your quad. It's gonna target your glutes. Yeah, but I wasn't squatting like the you know like the way you said you. Should, I was squatting just regular like heels. I'm, I, I still fail it like different areas. Yes, yes. Because Maybe because I'm not conscious or. No, because the, the the way so so like the people who don't understand in the beginning they think you your heel has to be raised yeah. in order for you to use your glutes. That, that's not true because right. because it's a fascia connection. You can use it in any position. So okay. it, so it, what that means is that your glutes can engage with your heel on the ground when your heel is lifted off the ground or your one leg. Yeah. Like, like we have like drills that that will will work on the one leg because yeah. you see all the NBA people they do like one leg shot or like the people who are really good they can yeah. just do one leg because the one leg engages just the same amount of glutes as two legs so the one leg doesn't really matter like it doesn't reduce the power at all okay because it's all coming from the glutes okay okay so you think about because when you shoot when you shoot the shot right it's yeah. it's really coming from for elite athletes like. Even like elite trainers, like yeah. lethal shooter, you yeah. know, like at uh, on Instagram. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I heard about him. Yeah, when he shoots, his heel automatically come off the ground. So, so, so that's something that people don't understand is is that, like, right now we're at a stage where all the shooting coaches, what they're saying is, okay, let's copy the form, this, yeah. this part, the hand, upper body, yeah. right? Yeah. And the lower body, they're just like, okay, so your lower body, just the width, that's yeah. it. So what I'm saying is no, 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 that, that's not it. The really, the what makes the biggest difference is that the feet are morphed through tension, fascia tension. So you put tension specifically in, in your foot, that increases the small nerves in your body and also through the fascia, your glutes are engaged. That's why you're able to make the shot so it's effortless. Yeah. But you have other people that try to maybe copy the the same motion you're doing but yeah. they're they're copying a compensated way yeah because it's the inside yes yeah. because the compensation happens all the time it's like it's like the people that somehow uh you know the people that that lose functionality in, in one of the finger or one of the arm mm -hmm. automatically the other side becomes better yeah, the same yeah. thing with with our muscles yeah because if your glutes don't work your quad automatically take over yeah. and, and your quad try to do the same work your glutes do but they're different muscle groups so they yeah. cannot replicate the same thing I felt that. I still got to activate it. I still don't feel it as much as my left, but like you said, that was weaker. Right. That leg. Right. But the right, it's, uh, it's, I felt it like after that squat. And then I, I was just so shocked. I was, was in, I was in these sneakers. These are not my playing sneakers, training yeah. the kids. I was like, well, I'm moving so like, powerful and like under control. I was yeah. so shy. My mind was blown. Yeah. It was blown. 